what you are seeing on the screen right now is unfortunately a reality. <sighs> Hello everyone, Edge Runner Gaming HD. I just woke up about 30 minutes ago at the time of me making this video. And I go to look at my tablet and this is the first thing I see. Everyone's talking about this right now, and understandably so. This is one of the biggest graduations to ever hit VTubing. Ever. Let me read here on screen what this says. This is from the official Hololive subreddit from an official moderator, I'm assuming it's T-Chan, for Reddit Hololive. Announcement of Benato Aqua's graduation. Thank you for your continued support of Hololive production. We regret to inform you that on August 28th, 2024, Benato Aqua will graduate from the VTuber group Hololive. To all fans and related parties, we sincerely apologize for this sudden announcement. We appreciate the warm support you have given Aqua until now, and we are truly grateful from the bottom of our hearts. Minato Aqua has been one of the members pivotal in contributing to the growth of Hololive production from its early days, serving as part of Hololive's second generation for approximately six years. We are sincerely grateful for her contrib contributions in it. Fuck, I'm, I'm already starting to tear up. And in light of that, have accepted her request for graduation. We are planning a graduation live stream on August 28th, the day of her graduation, and also the following. A Minato Aqua graduation live concert, Minato Aqua merchandise sales, special program on the Holo Live official channel, special feature on talent channels. Please wait for further announcements regarding the schedule for each of the above. In addition, for information on merchandise related to Minato Aqua, other than merchandise mentioned above, please refer to the Hololive Production Official Shop for separate announcement. Hololive Production Official Shop, and there's a link there for the shop. Closure of fan services. Fan letters will be accepted until Friday, September 6th, JST Standard Time. And there's a little bit more here. Let me get it up on screen. Details about membership and membership only content will be provided separately. We will continue to support her fully until her graduation. We would like to ask for your full unwavering support in the remaining time until the day of her graduation. Thank you. Tuesday, August 6th, 2024, Copper Corporation. What a fucking announcement to wake up to, huh? I, I just woke up. Like I said, I just woke up about 30 minutes ago. I haven't had anything to eat. I haven't had anything to drink. My mouth is dry. My stomach hurts. And this is the first thing I'm greeted to when I wake up. I, I feel like I am living in hell right now. I feel like I woke up in hell. And I, I want to go back to sleep and I just want to get out of this hell and get back to the real world. And unfortunately, every time I close my eyes and I open them, I still see this. And I've come to the realization that this is not a dream. This is, this is real. This is the fourth person to leave Hololive this year. Starting at the beginning of the year, Mel got terminated. Then HN left at the end of July. 
Gamma got terminated. And now Aqua is graduating at the end of August. And we still have a few more months to go before this year is over. <sighs> what an insane fucking year. Not just for Hololive, but for VTubing as a whole. What an absolutely insane year. Like 2024 is going to go down as one of the craziest, most wackiest years in VTubing history. So much good stuff, and yet there's so much bad stuff too. And the bad stuff outweighs the good. I've said it before in the past, and I'll say it again now. Treasure the time that you have with the talent. Treasure the time that you have with your Oshi. Because you never know when the day's going to come where they're going to say goodbye. And... Unfortunately, August 28, 2024, we're going to be saying goodbye to, in my opinion, one of the greatest Hall of Life talents of all time. This is a talent graduation that we have not seen since Kiru Koko. Yes, I know there's been a few others that have graduated, Sana. Mag well, Magni and Vesper never did a graduation stream. That was just a freaking contract dispute, and they just ended up leaving. And I, I think that's it. I think it's just Sana. I, I th Sana graduated, then Magni and Vesper graduated. Those are talents. A-chan ended up graduating, and that was gigantic, but she wasn't exactly a talent. So this is the first really big talent graduation since Kiru Koko. And my god, what a big one. This one's gonna hurt for a very long time. I always have had a love and respect for Aqua. And I will continue to have love and respect for her in the foreseeable future. While she's not my favorite VTuber of all time, my favorite VTuber of all time is, of course, Kiru Koko. Like, when she announced her graduation, I, I could not sleep that night. I, I could not sleep because she did it really late at night in American time where pretty much all of the U.S. was awake. And also in the early morning hours of Japan where most of the Japanese are waking up. So she did her graduation announcement at pretty much the perfect time for everybody to see it. Aqua also kind of did it too, except she did it around like six o'clock in the morning, my time. And I was asleep by then. So I didn't get to see it live. And I'm really glad I did not see this graduation announcement live, because if I would have saw this graduation announcement live, I would not be able to go back to sleep. Apparently, from what we've been hearing, from what we've been told, and this is from Aqua's mouth herself on her graduation announcement stream, the reason why she's leaving Hololive is because of cre creative differences. Now, you could argue that could be a contract dispute. I don't exactly know if it has something to do with the contract dispute. I don't think it's. I don't think it has anything to do with maliciousness. I don't think it has anything to do with her with them treating her bad. I, I don't. And besides, I don't see Hall of Life treating Aqua bad. I mean, Aqua's been there for almost six damn years. She's one of the OG Titans, not just of Hall of Life, but of virtual YouTubing. We are losing another pillar of virtual YouTubing. And supposedly the reason being is cre because of creative differences. It's basically the same thing that happened with Coco and Zana. They left Hololive because of creative differences. 
Coco wasn't really allowed to do what she wanted to do, and Sana unfortunately had health issues that got in the way that led to her graduation. Where with Aqua, it's basically the same thing as Coco. Creative creative differences. Like I said, with Sana, it was basically health issues. With Coco, it was, you know, they weren't really allowing her to do what she wanted. And I'm assuming that's the same thing happening with Aqua. And it's so eerie that I'm talking about Coco and Aqua and graduation because Coco was the one that talked Aqua out of graduating back in 2020. For all the OG Hololive fans, for all the new Hololive fans, for all the OG Hololive fans, y'all remember this. For the new Hololive fans, you probably don't know this. There was a time in 2020 where Aqua was feeling really, really depressed. And she was really feeling down and out. And she actually was on the verge of graduating back in 2020. Kiru Koko does a collaboration stream with Aqua. And it's still on YouTube to this very day. And if I could find it, I will put a link down below in the description. It's one of the most depressing yet wholesome streams I have ever seen from Hololive. And it made me fall in love with Coco. Coco does a collaboration stream, a Wrath game collaboration stream with Aqua. And Aqua even said before the collaboration, she told Coco, please do not, you know, please do not mention my graduation or anything, which she didn't. But Coco basically talked her out of graduating. That stream is the reason why Aqua stayed with us for four more years. Coco helped us keep the onion around for four more years. This fucking sucks. This absolutely fucking sucks. This is not how I want it to start my day. This is not how I want it to start my day at all. Graduation announcements and VTubing absolutely fucking suck. Terminations are way worse, but graduations fucking suck. But at least, at the very least with the graduation, we have the chance to say goodbye. As stated here in the statement, she's going to be doing a graduation stream a, gra a graduation concert on August 28th. I will tune into that. I don't care what time of the day it is. If I have to stay up all fucking night, I'll do it. I'm tuning into that graduation concert. And I know I'm going to be bawling like a fucking baby when it ends. I don't want it to end. But I know eventually all good things must come to an end. And the second that stream officially ends... The second that it goes to the overlay to end the stream, I know I'm going to be bawling my eyes out. Aqua has provided not just me, but everyone in Hololive, everybody in VTubing, so many iconic moments, so many memeable moments. In my opinion, she's one of the most underrated of all time. And I don't truly know if her impact on not just Hololive, but VTubing has really been felt just yet. I don't think it's going to really be felt until her graduation. When people finally come to the realization that, yes, she definitely was a pivotal role in helping make Hololive what it is today. Aqua herself even said, out of her own mouth, she was not expecting Hololive to be where it's at today. She said that she was expecting Hololive to always remain a small company. Maybe they'll get a little big, but not, nothing to the scale that they are at now. Like, they completely caught Aqua off guard. And she has admitted that it made her extremely nervous how big CoverCorp got to where they're the biggest VTuber company in the world now. And 
you could theoretically say that played into the creative differences. We don't know. Aqua doesn't want us to speculate, and I, I really don't want to speculate out of her well wishes. I really don't want to cause any speculation. I don't think we're ever going to know exactly why she's leaving. All she said is that it's creative differences. Whatever that may be, who knows? What we do know is, is that on the 28th of August, we're going to be losing one of the most underrated and, in my opinion, one of the greatest Hall of Life talents of all time. Everyone's devastated. All the Hall of Life members are devastated. A lot of them have canceled their streams today, which is understandable. Understandably so. I mean, if I was in Hall of Life, if I was a Hall of Star, I, I would probably cancel my stream for today as well. Like, th there's no way I'd be able to stream with this thought process on my mind. I just want 2024 to end, man. I just want this fucking year to end. Like, we've had so much bad shit happen this year. From Mel's termination... To Selen Tatsuki's termination. The closing of Idol. Which I could have did a discussion video on that. But I decided not to. But yes Idol Corp is shutting down. One of the. One of the big VTuber companies. Is unfortunately shutting down an Idol. And that happened just a few days ago. At the time of me making this video. And they're being sold off to the Brave group. Mel termination, Solentastiki termination, the downfall of a certain company over in Japan, which, to be honest, is rightfully deserved considering what they did. And you know exactly what company I'm talking about. I'm not going to say their name here. Let's just say they own a certain yacht. And I'm, in, in a way, I'm glad to see the downfall of that company after everything they fucking done. You have indie VTubers losing their YouTube channels. You have indie VTubers getting scammed with sponsorships and stuff. You got many corpo graduations, terminations. Gamma just got terminated not too long ago from Hollow Stars. A Chan, one of the founders of Hollow Life, basically, you could argue the founder of Hollow Life, leaving at the end of July. And then this, I mean, fuck, dude. 2024 has not been a very good year for virtual YouTube. There's been some good things that have happened. Don't get me wrong, but this has not been a very good year at all, overall, for VTubing. This has been an absolutely terrible year. And it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse and worse. Supposedly, and I don't know if this is a perfect translation, but there's comments on Aqua's graduation stream, which I'll put a link down below in the description for her graduation announcement in case you want to check it out. It's in full Japanese, so if you don't understand Japanese, which I don't really understand a lick of Japanese. I know a few Japanese words, but I can't speak the language, and I don't really understand the language. This fucking sucks, dude. This really does fucking suck. My day has just started, and now it's officially ruined. My week is officially ruined now. The month is officially ruined for me. I don't want August 28th to come, but I know it's going to happen. You can't stop time. And... Unfortunately, come the month of September, we're going to be in a different hall of life. One without Minato Aqua. I'll always love this cute onion. Hell, she has some of the best, in my opinion, she has some of the best fan art in all hall of life. 
And I hope it's okay for me to say this. And please don't take this the wrong way. But the art of Aqua in a swimsuit. Oh my god. Aqua is one of the hottest Hollow Life members when it comes to wearing swimsuits. And now, unfortunately, that's coming to an end. There, there is no announcement, by the way, as to what's happening to her channel. Like, we're just left in the dark. There's no announcement regarding if her videos are going to be archived. There's no announcement about if the channel is going to get deleted. We know nothing outside that she's graduating. That's literally all we know. She's graduating because of creative differences. That is all we know. There's no confirmation that the channel's staying up. There's no confirmation that all her videos are staying up. We we don't know. Like, Cover wasn't very transparent with that. Aqua has not said anything outside of the graduation announcement. We don't know if the channel's staying up. I hope that it stays up. I really hope that her channel stays up. I mean, if she's leaving on good terms, it's best to just leave the channel up. Turn their membership off. Turn the Super Chats off once she graduates. But leave the channel up. It's kind of like what they did with Coco. And they, they did it with Coco channel. They did it with Sauna channel. And they did it with Magni and Vesper's channel. Those channels are still up. You can go on their channels and still watch all their archive stuff. Which is great because it's better to go on their channel and be able to watch all their archive stuff than having to go online and go on basically the fucking dark web or something just to find an archive of all the old streams and videos of a past Hollow Life talent. Like with Mel, you can't watch Mel's videos on YouTube. You can watch clips and moments, but you can't watch her actual streams. You have to go on a certain website in order to do that. Gamma, same situation. You want to watch his streams, you have to go on a certain website in order to watch them. You have to go to a certain place in order to watch them. I would hope that won't be the same for Aqua. I hope her channel stays up. She's already said that she's going to be spamming the fuck out of collaborations. So, she's probably going to do shit I say she she could she could potentially do up to like a hundred collabs like she said she's just gonna spam she said she's gonna be collaboration overload like she's gonna be collabing with almost everybody and yes that even includes hollow life justice there's a chance that hollow life justice may do a collaboration with aqua before she says goodbye at least I hope she does a collaboration with justice because if, she, if they never get to collab with Aqua, that's going to be so fucking heartbreaking. Again, this absolutely fucking sucks. This is not how I want it to start my day. This is not how I want it to start the week. This is not how I want it to basically start the month. We just lost HN. We just lost Gamma. And now we're losing Aqua. And we still have a few months left in 2024. Please, God, no more. No more. Please, no more. I, I, I don't know what I'm going to do if I hear another Hollow Live graduation before the end of this year. I, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. In closing this discussion video, because I, I really don't have anything else I want to say here. In closing, thank you Minato Aqua for everything you've done for Hololive, for CoverCorp, for virtual YouTubing as a whole. In my opinion, you will always be one of the greatest Hololive members of all time. A gigantic name on the Japanese side. A household name when it comes to Hololive. 
I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss your collaborations. Hell, I'll even miss when you wear the swimsuit. And I know people are going to be like, LOL, Lamau. Hey, I like seeing Aqua in the swimsuit. She's hot as hell. She may be a dumb dumb, but I got to admit, her model's pretty f is pretty attractive. And now, unfortunately, it's coming to an end at the end of August. I don't know where sh what she's gonna do once she leaves Hollow Live, and, and that kind of relates to what I was trying to say earlier. There were some comments on the co on the uh, comment section that were stating that she's thinking of going independent, supposedly, which I don't know anything about her past life. I don't know anything about Aqua's past life. I know nothing. Like, Aqua has kept her past life very well hidden. Like, I don't know who her past life was. I didn't even know that she... I, I didn't even know that she had a past life. To be honest with you, I didn't even know she had a past life before she joined Hall of Life. I don't know her original YouTube channel. I'm not going to put a link down below in the description to it because... That basically be breaking the golden rule. If you want to find out who she is, find out on your own half. I'm pretty sure I'll find out eventually. But man, th this just fucking sucks. Thank you, Aqua, for everything. I will definitely be there for your graduation stream unless something major comes up in my life. I will do my very best to be there for the graduation stream. I know I'm going to be crying my eyes out, but so be it. If it's to say goodbye to one of the greatest in Hollow Life history, so be it. Thank you, Aqua. And I know this is going to sound a bit cringy, and I know some people may laugh. I don't give a fuck. I love you, Aqua. I always have, and I always will. We all love you. And we're all going to miss you. We wish you the best of luck wherever you go in the future. Whatever you decide to do in the future, we wish you the very best of luck. And send your love and support to the Hall of Life talents as well, because obviously they're all going through really hard times with this announcement. So send them some love as well. Edge Runner Gaming HD signing out with what I hopefully will hope to be the last graduation announcement for the year for Hall of Life. I, I don't want to come on and make another graduation announcement video. I really don't. I don't want to make a termination announcement video either. I, I don't want to come on talking about a termination in Hall of Life either. I just want everything after this. I just want everything to cool down. And I just want to get through 2024 perfectly fine. Please, no more bad news. For the love of God, please, no more. That's all I have to say. Goodbye. Aqua, thank you. I love you. I couldn't wait for you to come and clear the cupboard. But now you're gonna leave nothing but a sign. Another evening I'll be sitting reading in between your